Yes. Did you have other photographs? Yes. Uh, uh, yes, sure. So, as I said, this was the guy killed that sparked the genocide in Rwanda. Habi Ramana. And uh, sorry, some of these are a little graphic. This was the, the Rwanda genocide where people were just running away for safety. People who were being sought for their role in the genocide. Skulls of people. So just buttress the point that it's one country, that's Rwanda, this is Burundi. They are almost you know, sep sep separated by a strip, just a little strip of land. And Tanzania here was where a good number of the people from Burundi ran away. And from this camp, they launched occasional forays into Burundi. And then uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is huge. The guys whose photo I showed you, Kigami, had some of his rebel forces in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And so it was easy for them to launch attacks to, um, in Rwanda from this end. Yes, please. Can you speak up, please? Yeah. Uh -huh. What happened after this is Burundi and Rwanda became more peaceful? Are those refugees did they kind of move back? Yeah, 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 yeah. But some of them are still there. Yeah, some of them are still there. Sorry, I did not mean to cut you off. Yeah, some of them are still there. Some are still scared to go. Some don't still trust the system. In fact, the Democratic Republic of Congo is still in turmoil. And uh, accusations have been levied against Rwandese or Rwandans, that um, the Rwanda refugees that are still there are the ones causing you know, the problems. So some of them are still there, but a good number have returned. It's usually in a war situation, it's like in Sierra Leone, where I also experienced the war a little bit there. Um, even when they tell you, you know, the war is over, peace has been established, you don't have confidence in the system. You know, the trauma alone makes you not, want, not, not wanting to go close to the theater of war. So it's a matter of confidence, but a good number have returned, particularly Rwandese. A good number of them have returned. The Hutus in Tanzania, some have returned, some are still there. And the last thing I read about that is that the Tanzanian president was urging them to go back because it's also draining their own resources. Did I? Yes. Sorry, I missed the last one. Well, yeah, was there slave trade in, like, I know in other countries, some of the, the countries that later became colonizers made alliances with certain tribes to capture slaves and mm -hmm. send them off. Yeah. Was there slave trade going on there, and with what countries? Yeah. The, the, the power dynamic? Yes, the, the slave trade, particularly the Atlantic slave trade, started around 1400. Um, again, the good thing is, we, the Americans, did not start the slave trade. It's the same guys, the Europeans. The, the, the Portuguese started the slave trade in Africa. And so um, a lot of, lot of Africans also participated. Of course, African chiefs were middlemen who you know, captured people and then sold them off. So um, the dynamics are different. We are different in the sense that uh, this was purely a huge commercial enterprise where Europeans would go in with their ships, pay Africans, 
and then Africans will capture prisoners of wars, cr criminals, and so on and so forth, and sold them to the Europeans. So it was an exercise that um, involved almost um, all chiefs that found it very enticing, particularly what the Europeans gave in return. Tobacco, gone, so that wars will continue and more prisoners of war will be captured. Um, alcohol, of course, you know. So Burundi, Rwanda, that region was not too big in the slave trade. They did participate, but not as huge as in West Africa. Um, and what was then called Western Africa, which included Angola. But after, after the uh, Berlin Conference, Ang Angola became part of Southeast Africa. But before then, Angola, Guinea, Senegal, Nigeria, these were all huge trading ports for, slave, for slaves. Burundi and Rwanda, they, they did take part, but in a very minimal fashion. Was that what you're looking for? Yeah. OK. Of course. Oh, I have a, a colleague and friend here who is sitting right there, Professor Tabashnik. Um, I know he doesn't like to be put on his spot, but he has been a great mentor to me at K College. And today I heard through my and his hard work that I have been given promotion at K College. So I have been in a very exciting mood since this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and it's a pleasure to be here.